affected in one way or another by cancer, but how far would you go to help someone get the treatment they need? For one Dallas man, the answer, head north. Here's today's speedy bike. For most of Wayne Maynard's life, cancer was a foreign language. Yeah. But when his brother-in-law was diagnosed and eventually succumbed to the disease eight years ago, everything changed. You know, that's how it starts. Soon after, one of Wayne's closest friends lost his battle too. For so long, I didn't know anything about it, and now it seems like it's been around me time after time after time. Since then, Wayne has taken it upon himself to get cancer patients the treatment they need. To make that happen, he came up with an extreme idea. His plan? was to fly to the North Pole and back. Wayne's North Pole journey began a few weeks ago. Thank you all for taking time. He got the idea after learning about Angel Flight South Central, an organization that provides medical air travel for free to patients who can't otherwise afford it. More important, Wayne, a pilot himself, started flying for Angel Flight after his brother-in-law was diagnosed. This is the first time in my family anyone, anyone had cancer. Angel Flight relies on donations. And Wayne knew the only way to get people to donate was to get them to listen. So if I sit down and say, I'm going to fly to the North Pole, you're going to listen. By flying to the North Pole, I think people are more, inter more likely to listen to my story than they would be if I started off with telling them about Angel Flight South Central. A few weeks ago, Wayne departed Dallas, made a few stops along the way, and eventually reached the North Pole. By the time he returned home, Wayne had collected Angel Flight's single biggest donation, more than $85,000, which will help 850 patients. Maybe they'll see a son graduate from high school, but they wouldn't have it otherwise. Maybe they'll see a grandchild born that they wouldn't have seen otherwise. And maybe it'll give them enough time to say goodbye, at the worst, to people around them. We can't all travel to the North Pole, but like Wayne, to stop cancer from claiming yet another victim, we'd all go to the ends of the earth. John Giggy, Channel 8 News, Daybreak. Now keep in mind too that $85,000, all of it went back um, because Wayne actually paid for his own lodging. He paid for the plane, he paid for the fuel. So that was all his own expense so that he could give every penny back to them. What an amazing contribution. And yeah, as Sean says, they're going to the ends of the earth, maybe different for everybody, but Everyone does what they can. I bet it'll be right, back north eventually. Uh, it is now 627.